Hi, this is Jane from SafeNet AT. In this brief video, I'm going to show you the steps required to create a local certificate authority on KeySecure and then make it trusted. This is a very commonly used configuration on KeySecure. First step, click the Security tab. Then come down here and click Local CAs. You can see none currently exist. So using this form, I'm going to go, go ahead and create one. The certificate authority name is simply a name that you will see populated here. I'm going to call it SafeNet AT CA. Common name, will, I'm going to make the same. It doesn't have to be. Organization, organizational unit, locality, state, country, and email address is an optional field. I'm not going to enter anything there. I'm going to leave the key size at the default. Importantly, since this is the root of trust, this will be a self-signed certificate. And here you'll set these values according to your security policy. This is indicating that the CA certificate will be valid for basically 10 years. And then you can also set the maximum allowable certificate duration for any certificate that is signed by the CA. I'm just going to make this one year. And then click the Create button. Now you can see up here that the certificate authority has been created. You can see it's warning you down here that local CA certificates must be added to the trusted CA list in order to be recognized by key servers. So that is the next step we will want to do. Before we go there though, I want you to notice the options that are available here now. You can download the CA certificate, which you would need to do to install on say a KMIP client. Uh, properties will actually show you the certificate itself. And you could copy and paste this if you needed to um, get it into the KMIP client that way. Uh, this is the sign request button where you will actually paste in a certificate signing request and sign it there. And show signed certs will show you all the certificates that the CA has signed. And right now we only have one and that happens to be the self-signed cert that we just did. So the next step is to add this certificate to a trusted list. You can see this trusted CA list option here. You'll click that. When KeySecure was installed, a default profile was automatically created. And you can see there are no trusted CAs or CA certificates in this list right now. So what we'll want to do is edit it. Click on the local certificate authority we just created. Click the Add button and click Save. And we now have the SafeNet ATCA as a trusted CA in this profile. This profile would then be assigned to a key server so the key server would know what certificate authority profiles are to be trusted and used. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps.